Okay, let me hit on these. Um, this first part of this dream. God was highlighting 72 to me twice. So I got a specific confirmation for somebody in here, but he was highlighting it to me twice last night before the dream got all witchy and interference-y. Um, let me just do the whole dream. So it's, it's actually quite a few things in here. I just said total lies about it. Um, I was going to work, basically do like what I'm doing tomorrow. And I was invited by my Destiny Connector and um, when I got there, I do remember parking in the front. And when I got in the building, she was like, hey, like, where did you park? And I was like, girl, I parked in the front, like, <laughs> by the door at that, right? And she was like, they were saying we had to park in the back. And I was like, girl, no, I parked in the front. And when I looked in the back, nobody had parked in the back. And I asked her where she had parked, but then... I don't remember her answer or nothing. I was just telling her about this this morning and I was telling her God is even in that God is telling us to work on our confidence. When he said the last would be first, first will be last, last will be first. He meant that. OK, but as far as parking in the back, parking in the front, I parked in the front. It's this thing I keep seeing. Like, you better walk up in there like God sent you. Exactly. And so he was still getting that confidence. OK, you're there for a reason. What would you be parking in the back for? And I don't care what nobody was telling me. Like, what would you be parking in the back for? So he's still talking to us about our confidence. Like, if he's telling you the last will be first, if you're in that season, you need to walk confidently in it. Now, in a dream, I was like, nah, sis, I parked in the front, right? <laughs> but it's a reminder still, right? Okay, and so then from there, um, it goes to there is this explosion in South Carolina. I don't know about in South Carolina. I don't be thinking about going to South Carolina, none of that. And so with the explosion, though, um, we could see it from where we were at. And then it was like, when I came outside, y'all know these are my critic glasses. When we came outside, my mama was now there. And I believe it was the Holy Spirit because I don't know what my mama know about South Carolina either, right? And um, she was telling me like, you know, 72, which is a road here, leads, like goes to South Carolina. And I was like, it does. Like, I didn't know that in the dream, right? And so that stuck with me when I woke up, like, what in the world? <laughs> and um, it was kind of like I got to zoom in on the explosion and people were getting hurt. And it was people who have done, done me wrong. I'm not going to lie. It was OK. So when he says vindication and stuff, he's serious. Like, I mean, I saw them being affected by the explosion. However, there's duality. He's been bringing me back to a lot of my words, okay? So I released these words. Around the time I released the marriage word, the very first one, and it included the 72, I released this other word about a blitz attack. So there are explosions going off. There are explosions of vindication, but then there are also explosions. Like we keep saying love bomb. It's that bomb is like a good bomb for us. It's probably a blitz attack. That's what I was saying in that word. It's a good bomb for us. But when we look at it in duality, it's bad for the enemy's camp. So it's like these unions and stuff are exploding and popping up, but it's bad for the enemy. It's bad for the people who like who was coming against it. Like, cause okay. Now, hear me out though. We come out of Luke 10, and y'all also know I had the other dream, the one I just reshared, where it was you and Bay are on a mission. This also goes back to this in the first marriage word I released. I am going to try to link everything. But if you are somebody particularly who has been asking God, if you're supposed to go to South Carolina and you are connected to my voice, 72 leads to South Carolina. Okay. That's what my mama said in the dream. And I was like, okay. Cause I didn't know what that had to do with me. Now, Luke 10 says, after this, the Lord appointed 72 others and sent them two by two ahead of him to every town and place where he was about to go. He told them the harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. Ask the Lord of the harvest, therefore, to send out workers into his harvest field. Go, I am sending you out like lambs among wolves. Do not take a purse or bag or sandals and do not greet anyone on the road. I just reshared that video too. That's the you and Bay are on a mission. Okay. So read all of that. But he was already telling me that with the first marriage word. And then he was telling me that again with you and Bay are on a mission. Like he's sending us out two by two 
in these streets. Like if you if you know you and Bay out here in these streets, and when I say that, I mean evangelizing, right? That's one of the um, parts of ministry. Listen, he is sending this out two by two. He commissions the 72 the same way he commissioned the disciples, okay? And in the first marriage video, I talk about how we was going out like that. Like it was like we was in marriage training. We was learning how to pray for each other, all of that. And then he sent us out really, really quickly, okay? So he was just confirming that again. And I was like 72. And the other way he confirmed it in the dream is we pulled up on this man um, and this is when I knew it was turning into witchcraft because that family, um, the name of the girl, this is a girl who it's funny because he didn't show me that girl. Um, he showed me the girl that has her name. Okay. And I was like, Oh, see, and then it got real witchy. But the man, when we were first at his house, before the demons started interfering with the dream, he was retired and so kind. And he was like 60, like he he told me he was 72, but he looked like he was 60. But even in me telling y'all that, he didn't act... I don't know where I'm getting that from because he didn't actually look 60 either. Like, he looked really, really good for his age. And he was telling me he was 72. So, God was highlighting 72 two different times in my dream last night, okay? And um, he had came and brought us out some waters because at this point, I do feel like I was kind of walking. And I had went into, like, their house. Like, they was, like, hosting me. But then when I got in their house... That's when all that stuff in my family started happening. And I was like, how did my family even get in here? Like, this is not their house. Like, I was very confused, okay? So, there's that. So, I don't, I'm going to try to put the summary of what it is he, he's saying in the actual title. And if it's for you, I believe that it's for you, okay? Lay out.